good evening. It's Monday on this beautiful, gorgeous British summer, summer's day. Uh, let me just pull myself up on the screen. So if anybody's joining, I can see comments. How is everybody? Hope everyone's well. It's certainly got a little bit chillier. Out to get my jumper out. Okay, there we go. Found myself. I can see comments if anybody's joining. Um, so as you can see, I've been joined by Bella. Uh, Mabel is here, but she's having a groom off off to my left. So um, anyway, to try and cheer myself up on this beautiful British summer's day, I thought I would do some tropical stamping um so i'm going to use timeless tropical um i literally had no idea what i was doing up until about 10 minutes ago so this is very much a uh, just see what i come up with kind of a situation um and i also thought i'd maybe throw in some cocktails um i'm not drinking the cocktails unfortunately uh, but i will be stamping some um, so for all those people that want to go on holiday, have been lucky enough to get something booked. Um, you can see my little red nose. You'd think I'd been away, but I haven't. Um, yeah, I, I just thought it's something fun and something bright and cheerful. So anyway, I will turn the camera down and uh, we'll get going. Make sure that you can see there on the screen, got you nice and lined up. I can see a few people jumping on, so hello to everyone that's jumping on. So this is what I'm going to start with and uh, I have to confess this has been in the annual catalogue. It's in this annual catalogue, it was in the last annual catalogue, and I have to confess that I was extremely late in buying it. So late, in fact, that I literally received it this morning. Um, so it's brand new, uh, not been used, sticker's still on it. Um, so anyway, thought we'd give this one a go and just do some simple, simple stamping. Um, she says, if I can find my cardstock. So if you're watching and don't feel too shy, please pop on and say hello. So I'm just going to do, so I watched the lovely Stacey Marsh um, earlier today and she used the Nothing's Better Than uh, so I think I might do this. So as I say, I'm very unprepared today. Literally had no idea what I was doing up until about 10 minutes ago. Um, so I think I'll do this at, let's say, nine and a half for now. And I normally do this. So I, I saw her, sorry, getting sidetracked. Can't cut, think of measurements and talk at the same time. I know, shocking. Um, and she used uh, the Nothing's Better Than, which is the one with the cocktails in it, because who doesn't love a cocktail? And she used some a lovely colour combination. Uh, so I'm going to use the leaves to start with on this. So I might try and replicate some of that so she used a lovely green called pear pizzazz which for those of you that might be 
new to the world of stamping up. All of the colours are named weird and wonderful names that go along with their colours. So we've got Pretty Peacock, although that is now retired. Melon Mambo. Gorgeous Grape, which is my absolute favourite. Okay, so I'll start with the leaves and I'm going to do Pear Pizzazz. Because it's a nice green. So let's get this on. That's a bit big. Let's do it on a slightly smaller block. So I want to, so obviously, so this is Timeless Tropical, so it's Hawaii basically. And think of Hawaii, think of hibiscus. Those beautiful, beautiful flowers. In fact, I have a lovely hibiscus in my garden, which I can't wait to see it flower. Lovely pink colour. So, and I'm going to stamp this as well. Not in the pear pizzazz. Let's get this lined up. That looks a bit right. So I'm going to do uh, the hibiscus around here, so the leaves going around it. Okay, so if I'm going to put the, so I did get the hibiscus out for a reason, so I can sort of measure up where I want it to go, just so I can guesstimate as to where I want the leaves to go. So we'll start about there. It's a beautiful green. I'll put that away. Now for the hibiscus I'm going to stamp this on a bit of scrap and I'll cut it out. Ooh, perfect size. So I think I'll do it in melon mambo. So there are dyes to go with this, um, but as I hadn't gotten around to getting even the stamp set yet, I didn't think to get the dyes either. So, so we can easily, just with a blender pen, just pull out some of that pink colour. Just to give it a little bit of an extra colour, take off some of the white. Which is the great thing about these blenders. And 
you don't have to be too neat. As you can see, it's just pulling out the colour from the middle. I'm just giving a bit of pink definition to the petals. Hi Louise! I am using Timeless Tropical. It's a stamp set that I'm a little bit late to. It's been around for a while. And I don't know what made me buy it, probably seeing one of Michaela's videos. I decided I'll just take some of that pink off. I'll just put the lid back on that before I do anything disastrous. Like put my fingers in it. Or heaven forbid should the cat put the tail in it like they did last week. So I'm just going to fussy cut this out. I say there are dies to this but I haven't got them. I am excited. I am excited Louise for the catalogue launch although obviously as demonstrators we get to see it this week so I'm very excited and as a demonstrator pre-order starts on the 1st of July as well as celebration so I'm interested to see what free products we get as part of celebration so for anybody watching that doesn't know uh, Stampin' Up they uh, have a two month long celebration uh, period uh, coming up in July and August where um, you can qualify for free product um, depending on how much you spend uh, and then they um, there's two levels so last time there was two levels so with every 45 pound spend you could uh, qualify for free stamp sets some designer series paper and then um, anything over £90, it might have been uh, a set. So stamp set as well as designer series paper that matched. So I'm quite looking forward to this one to see what is included. And I have an extremely large order to put in. And I was going to do it and then decided to wait. So fairly straightforward to cut that one out and I might do the smaller one as well so this is stamp set is brand brand new um Louise it's uh it's totally um straight out of the packaging I only received it this morning so it's my first time playing with it So I know not everybody does their stamps, puts their stamps on the cling, but I do love to because I do like to eventually get rid of the red rubber. Um, so this red rubber that it comes with, I don't like uh, holding onto it, it just takes up too much bulk. So sentiment wise, I think I'll do, so sentiment wise, you've got may your birthday be memorable, memorable, if I could say it right. Our friendship is timeless. Rest and relax, you deserve it. Thank you and hello. So I think I'll do rest and relax, you deserve it because there's quite a few people I know that definitely need some rest and relaxation. That one is down here. So I've just stamped the leaves uh, in pear pizzazz. Um, so I'm going to layer it up like so. I'll put a bit of definition to it. 
and I'll stop that in a second. Let me just get this out. Yeah, I love the palm trees too. It's um reminds me of Hawaii. It's been a long time since I went to Hawaii. So let me just put that to one side. Just to get this out. And we'll just put this to one side. I didn't get the dies and I feel like I should have. Um, so I'm going to put this up here. So I think I might do that in Melon Mambo as well. Yeah, this sunset's been a while, uh, around for a while. It was in the last annual catalogue. Um, for some reason it didn't speak to me then, but it does this time. So I want to have a play with that as well as um, the nothing's better than because I feel like it's only fair that you have cocktails when you're at the beach. It's only right. So again, just with my blender pen. That was Daffodil Delight. Okay, I'll fussy cut this as well. Of that bulk away. Okay. okay so very quick and simple um so you may not have heard me earlier on louise as i was saying i didn't know until about 10 minutes before i was due to come on what i was going to do so i'm not prepared so with that in mind i'm gonna just do a layer of oh i've got some scrap that might just be big enough uh pear pizzazz We are going to do 14. I haven't got straight edge, which isn't really helping. That's better. So we'll do 14.3, uh, I think. 0.3, and then, <clears throat> excuse me. 
I did that nine and a half. I'll do it ten. Never take a slither off. Literally a tiny slither. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this feels a bit empty. So, first things first, let's stick this down. Okay, so I'm just gonna, is my bone folder or, um, sorry if you can hear that sound in the background, that's Bella playing with what she shouldn't be playing with. Um, bone folder or the end of you take your pick tool or something just to give it a bit of a curve. And then I just put it in the palm of my hand, just push it in, just gives it a bit of definition. So I'm going to just put this on, no, I'm going to put this on with glue. And again, just give it a little bit of a curl. Okay, I'll stick this down. Might have to break out a new glue. So I'm going to put that about there. Like so, and then we'll put that on a dimension. Okay, make a card blank. If I can get hold of my, if I can find my whisper white, whatever I've done with it. Honestly. So disorganised. Not whisper white, it's basic white. I will get used to it one day. So I'm going to do this as a tent fold. can go on there like so so really simple card to start with. Might add 
some secrets, uh, not secrets. Maybe some pearls. With pink pearls. And some rhinestone jewels. change this one over soon. I think, I think rhinestones seems only right. Put one on there. Middle. I know that's three, but I'm just going to go. There. So, that's card number one. So I've left the inside blank. I mean, it's white, so you can always can always do oh actually whilst I'm thinking of it um does it come from the sweet ice cream no not sweet ice cream best year no well you could do a happy birthday rest and relax you you deserve it Ah, here we go. From Happiest of Birthdays, you can stamp It's Your Day, Enjoy It, which can be anything then. Doesn't necessarily have to be a birthday. That's what I like about this. Just clean that stamp off. That's what I like about this uh, stamp set. The happiest of birthdays. Uh, I think we'll do it in Melon Mambo again. So I have made the card blank from thick basic white. Let's make sure that this is straight. Straight. So that's why I haven't put it, because it's thick basic white, that's why I haven't put a liner in because it is quite sturdy. Let me just burnish that down so it will stand upright. There, that's card number one done. Uh, for card number two. I'm going to um, maybe do some tone on tone. Let me move that out of the way, clean that stamp off. And put this away. I'm trying to tidy as I go so, so I don't lose things. So for card two, in a similar way, but I thought I would do some tone on tone stamping. Let me put that to one side. Starting with, I've got a real thing for Melon Mambo at the moment. So I thought I would do card blank from Melon Mambo. Which I'm going to do a normal card. So that's score at ten and a half and cut at the fourteen point eight five or fourteen point nine. And what I thought I could do is maybe cut um, uh, maybe a stitch rectangle. So I'm just going to do some tone on tone stamping to start with 
maybe a stitched rectangle with the sentiment with the hibiscus I love the hibiscus it just makes me reminisce about my holiday on the best holidays ever or one of my best holidays ever should I say and I'm just gonna get a scrap bit of paper because I don't want the colour, the stamping to go on the back. So I'm just going to put that there so I can stamp off. Hold on, let me just double check which is the front. Yeah, that's the front. So I can stamp off the edge of the card then without getting anything on the back. So tone on tone so melon mambo cardstock means melon mambo and random stamping which I quite like the random stamping A beautiful flower. Kind of random. Um, and then on a bit of that's the card I'm going to do melon mambo just wondering if maybe a bit of daubering so I've got my sponge daubers in this case I think maybe oh, come out they've all got stuck to the roof there we go so my mango melody will be this one so with a bit of mango melody I'm just going to See what that looks like. Yeah, just gives it a little bit of colour. bit of definition it's amazing how much ink these hold considering you barely touch the ink pad Okay, so I think uh, for this, so we don't want a big rectangle. Oh, if only we had the stitch so sweetly. Uh, maybe, what was that, fourth one down? Maybe the third, uh, fifth one down. Yeah, fifth one down, I think. 
So fifth one down on some basic white. Just get the lovely stitching. My very precise cut. Let me just move those out of the way so I can bring in my little mini cut and emboss machine. I'm saving up for the large one. Okay, so my little mini, which uh, I think is slightly off your screen. So, just move this out of the way. just cuts so beautifully okay so oh nearly nearly three my die in the bin so I actually don't like the look of that now so I'm just going to restamp that I know I'm being fussy what can I say I'm just going to stamp it in one colour My dark mango blend. And just to give it a bit of colour. That looks better. And then again with a blender pen. just to pull out some of that ink. Which of course you can use your blender to pick up Some of the ink from the actual ink pad. This last one. I might just give this a little bit of a squeeze. Let's just Just 
want to define some of them. Just pull in some of the colour. Sorry, I'm colouring, so I'm not talking much. Blend pens are quite good um, if you don't have all the colours, Louise, because um, you can just do it this way and then you get an almost water colour-y sort of effect. Um, but just remember to take the colour off before you move on to the next one. Okay, don't need that. So a lot of fussy kind tonight. I really must buy the <laughs> buy the dies. I mean, they're easy enough to cut. It's just, uh, I don't fancy fussy cutting the palm trees. Or the pineapple. Okay. Okay. So on our little, just love the stitching on that rectangle. So good. You see it. So lovely. Okay. So let's do. May your birthday be memorable. Yeah, do may your birthday be memorable. So I've just put the leaf away, but actually I think I'm going to stamp it. So again, in oh, there's plenty of space on here. In pear pizzazz, I 
Oh yeah, essentials, definitely. I um, I say I like the blender pens because if you don't have every ink colour, or you don't have every pen colour, should I say, blend blender pen uh, blends pens colours. Of course, that's easy for you to say. Um, then it gives you. Um, it, it, you know, it still enables you to colour, um, be it a slightly watered down version, but still. But I think for me it's the dyes and some of the sentiment stamp sets that are staples that I use a lot of, shape dies, things like that. And then some of the tools like the snips, I held off for a long time in buying the snips because I thought, oh, I've got scissors that are good, sharp, but I do love these. And then things like the Stamparatus. I'm saving up for the cut and emboss machine. I've got the Mini, which I love. I managed to get that on a half price order, but you can't get the cut and emboss as a demonstrator on the half price. So I'm saving up for that one. But right now I need some basics, you know, the cardstock, things like that. And they all seem to run out at the same time. I don't know why. And all colours that I don't necessarily use a lot of. And they all seem to have run out all at the same time. I must have been expanding my colour choices. Yeah, I quite like the mini cut and emboss. Um, and it's not that expensive. And it's great if you just want to do a quick sentiment or you don't have to get your big machine out. Or if you just want to do, you know, something little. Like if you just wanted to do, like if I had the dies for this, I'd be die cutting the leaves right about now. You know, to not have to get a great big machine out. I mean, I do have the big shot. But I wouldn't, I would prefer to get the yeah it is and I mean even the cotton embosses the full size one is a really good price um, and I, I like the fact that they both fold up you know so it doesn't take up as much space when you're storing it you know on the days when you're not using it it's easy to put away on a shelf or something Yeah, I, I wouldn't keep the big shot. I, I like my big shot, it's fine, but uh, I think for going to classes and things like that, which is where I use it the most, it's a bit cumbersome. I'd rather have the other cut and emboss machine. When I'm at home, I have an electric because it helps my neck to not have to do so much manual um, ever since my spinal injury it uh, it's 
helpful to have a um, electric die cutting machine, which I just put on a lazy season. Um, so I don't have to, so again, it doesn't take up a lot of space, but I can just turn it round rather than have to have space either side. So let's clean that off. Okay. So we're going to do... Oh, I didn't put the sticker on, did I? I wasn't paying attention. I think I prefer doing this to watching football. I might actually do this in black. straight okay okay so you need to do an inside for the card so again such a mess I don't understand how do I create such a mess no I didn't want that at all my mind is not on the game today That's right, I've got that for something else. So for the inside, let's stamp. That was close. Nearly put my fingers in it. I'm trying not to get all my blocks out. I'm trying to be a little bit more reserved. generation stamping do I find the paper trimmer ever drags the paper no never I love my paper trimmer absolutely love it it's one of the best things I've ever bought How did that happen? I've not cut that straight at all. Um, yeah, no, I absolutely love this. I don't know what that was about, but that definitely was not straight. It's uh, one of the best things I've ever bought. 
and the only time um it might get a bit furry but that's when you know that the blades are starting to go but honestly i can't actually remember i use mine all the time and i can't actually remember um the last time i can't actually remember the last time i changed the blade on that actually so i'm going to use happy birthday from the sweet ice cream no i'm not actually because we've got a happy birthday on the outside so we'll go again with it's your day enjoy it and then i'll do my last card which might take a little bit more more inking to do anyway get rid of the cat hair I might put that down there tuck it in there yeah I'll keep that out because clearly I'm going to be using it again what's the button I don't know yeah no I absolutely love my uh, paper trimmer and I've had a lot of paper trimmers um, I have the tonic guillotine. Um, I've had the fiscus paper trimmer, but I do prefer the stamping up one because I like the fact that you get the score blade as well. So you don't have to have a separate um score to you know you don't have a se have to have a separate scoreboard so i'm going to do 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 we'll do that do that maybe do a bit of that oh i'm wondering the ephemera pack gold so what i might do is stick this flat So it's a little bit further to the top. So dimensional, dimensional or two. Like so, and then maybe some blue dots. Which size is the rectangle? It is. Uh, let me just check for you so i think it was the fifth one down yeah this one down so uh let me get a ruler it was the one that is two and oh i can't see that it's two and a quarter two and seven eighths by uh two and seven eighths two and that's not two and seven eighths Two and three eighths by almost well three and eight sixteenths. So two and five eighths. by almost three and three quarters i think it's the fifth one down in the stitched rectangle dies
So it's, yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's the fifth one down. that like so and then because it'd be rude not to I love these artistry blooms self adhesive sequins absolutely love them the colours just go so well Oh, look at that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mm, those colours. So amazing. So, I've got cat hair. One there. We'll do the smaller one. The smaller one there. And... Smaller one there. Whoop, whoop. Love that. Is it polished pink? No, it's. Um, oh, I love the artistry blooms sequins. I go through them like they're going out of fashion. No, this is Melon Mambo actually, Louise. Um, so yeah, so I've used the Melon Mambo ink pad. So all that's and done tone on tone stamping, um, and that's what I've used for the hibiscus as well. And then I've just used the blender pen to, I love, I actually really do like Melon Mambo. It's just that little bit darker than Magenta Madness. So you've got this, which is the darker, slightly reddier tone pink. And then you've got Magenta Madness, which is the next one down. And then you've got Polished Pink, which is just a fraction lighter again. Um, so yeah. It's kind of, uh, polished pink's kind of between the cocoa rose. That bit darker than Calypso Coral, but not as, yeah, I love it too. And you know, when you see Hawaii, you know, bright colours, you don't want to go dull, do you? Okay, so the idea, so that's the second card done. So the idea, I've got an idea in my head. This could be dangerous. So this was the second, yes, second largest stitched rectangle, which I think I've got an idea to do like a Polaroid -y type. I don't know. We'll just play it by ear, shall we? Um, <laughs> if you don't mind sticking with me, Louise, for just a little bit longer, I'll be as quick as possible. No, nope, they're circles. That's not going to help me when I want squares. Wrong shape altogether. Here we go. Okay, so... This is the, for the layering squares, flaming cat hair, honestly. From the layering squares, this is the second largest um, square, but it's not, it's just the plain straight edge square. So what I'm thinking of doing is just doing that up there. Let me get some tape. Post-it note tape. Love this stuff. In fact, that piece should be alright. So I'm just trying to get an even border there, there and there. Make sure I've got it straight. So 
so I'm trying I'll try and make it as quick as possible but who knows because I haven't fully thought out this idea so I'm going to cut this out making sure I keep it straight a good satisfying sound yeah Amazon and the only reason I decided to get post-it notes tape is because I have the um I can't remember the name of the brand you know the shawl that's it um gently um tape removable tape but I found that it still ripped my card base or the picture that I was die cutting um so I switched to the post-it note tape because it is literally post-it note but in a tape so that has created a little bit get it around the right way a little bit of like a polaroid type effect um, I don't need that anymore. Let's put that to one side. So my idea, I've no idea what card base I'm putting this on by the way. Like I said, I'm just making it up as I go along. And I might stamp, I might even stamp over it, but I thought I'd just do a bit of blending on the background here with maybe a little bit of Daffodil Delight. Get my... So I'm still waiting. So I've got some blending brushes, but not all. So yeah. So I have to make do with these, which are fine. But I do find the Stampin' Up! ones are a little bit better. So I'm just going to do a bit of blending. A little bit of the yellow. I mean these are just as soft but it's just that slightly smaller head which I think sometimes can take a bit a bit longer to get where you need to go okay I'm going to Louise you're absolutely right so bit of Calypso Coral so my thinking is these palm trees and maybe a cocktail let's blend that down a bit and of course if you don't want to get your fingers grubby then easiest way is to take a post-it note sticky side up Put it on your fingers. So when you lift your hand away, it comes with you. Okay, so I think I might just do a little bit lower. Of 
course the beauty of coming to these late is that there's loads of ideas out there already to get my little brain ticking over. Oh, I need to put some WD-40 on that. Um, not WD-40. So a little bit of Melon Mambo, I think. Oh, where's my pink? So the melon mambo. Almost matches my nails. down a bit to blend it. And then to finish it off, I think I might do a bit of fresh freesia. Might even go up to Highland Heather. I don't Just put a little bit more melon mambo in there. Yeah. You know, as I'm now doing this, and I can actually feel the difference between brushes, I would definitely say the Stampin' Up! ones are better. A little bit of a sunset style and 25 million blending brushes. I'm going to put them to one side and we'll get out. So the palm trees. Might as well have put all the stickers on these by the time I'm finished. Yeah, um, 
can't remember what these ones. No, these are uh, the other ones I have are my favourite things. And they are nice brushes, but when you compare them directly next to um, the Stampin' Up! ones, you can definitely feel the difference. Okay. So for this, I'm going to stamp it in Memento. I mean, I don't need to stamp all of it. Let me just see how dark that comes out. Yeah. I'm just going to do it slightly. Okay, I'm committing. I'm committed. I'm done. Oh, I don't want to lift it now. <laughs> there. Okay, not so bad. Then... So I think probably a white card base is probably the best for this. Now, now I want to create more mess by bringing in another stamp set. Because why wouldn't you? And bringing in nothing's better than. So let me quickly clean off those palm trees so I want to so I did already have these set up because these were the first ones I was intending to use and scrap Got some scrap left. So memento again. Haven't used this set for ages. do two because the beauty of this is you can die cut and I do have the dies okay and then so I think I might follow in Stacy's footsteps and do Fresh freesia and I need my dauber. She says without pulling them all out for my blackberry bliss, which is that one. So if I stamp in fresh freesia, and then my door but I'm just going to turn my light down I don't know if you can if that's better I'm just around the bottom just going to stamp that 
and then we'll do I was going to do in the same colour but that's a bit boring isn't it what do you think uh, mango melody and melon mambo that might be quite good Mango Melody and Melon Mambo, there it is. Get my Melon Mambo out. I have to confess, uh, Louise, that I haven't actually used the Daubers for ages. But I, I agree, I do like using them. They're ideal for things like this. So a bit of melon mambo. Just down the bottom there. Ooh, this looks like a tequila sunrise or something. Wrong glass, but still. Okay, let's put that away. Put that away. Make sure my lid is on that properly. Okay, so let's die cut. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Need to add the lemon. add the lemon and then umbrella I think we'll go oh I think we might go Bermuda Bay I'm on my last card Susie but <laughs> welcome I will show you what I've been up to so I'll just stamp the little umbrella and a bit of Bermuda Bay. So it goes on dark, but it does dry a bit lighter. There we go. Yeah. So let's get these cut out. Or if we're saying proper English, cut out. So what I'm thinking is. I feel that's a bit plain. So. Oh, no worries, Susie. No worries. Um, so let's cut. Let's make some space. So, we need the dye for the cocktail. I can pick it up. Magnetic sheets are good to a point until you can't pick it up. So post-it note tape again. So we are going to Line that up. Oh no, we're not because that didn't stick. Probably 
probably need to rotate my plates. Just to stick it there. So I'm taking you on a tropical vacation. So that's one. And let's do the other one. Oh, this is a reminds me of a cocktail that I know and love. Okay, let me stick that down. Bring this through. Okay. I'm pleased I've made it to the third card without a cat making an appearance on my desk. So, okay, that's our two cocktail skis, the colour of my fingers. That's our two cocktails. Um, <laughs> Yes, those are cutting things specific to that kit, yes. So they are the die, so they are designed to fit around the stamped image, which means you don't have to cut them by hand. Um, but they do a good job. So these are the rest of the dies. So this set is called Nothing's Better Than. Coffee, cookies, cocktails, chocolate. And then you have the dies. So this die cuts the cookie here, um, this cuts the chocolates, and then this cuts the coffee cup slash tea cup, to be fair. Um, and then you get these words as well. So coffee, cookies, cocktails, chocolate, and then love you more than as well um, as a die. So it cuts the cardstock. I think so yeah I think I'll do a white card base let's do so let's do this is the the second one from the one I cut earlier but I feel like that's a bit too plain That's why I've got mucky fingers, because I've been doing this. So I want to stamp a sentiment from here. So we can do cocktails. So we'll do so and the good thing so the idea of these um, I understand the words die cut yes so that's what it means um, and the good thing about this stamp set is you get so this is the cocktail glass and then this is the inside so you can stamp that in a different colour um, and then you get your umbrella and you get your little lemon or lime to put on the edge and then you can stamp the outside of your cookie and then change the colour the inside and the same for the chocolate so you stamp the outside and then stamp that in a different colour if that's what you want um, so yeah so this one we're gonna do cocktails because adulting is hard seems only fitting right now certainly after the Last few weeks at work. I'm going to just use my grid paper to line up. Make 
make sure I get it straight. Okay. So, memento. Oh. So, I'm going to do memento. Um, we'll do, no, we'll do cocktails in I've got a real thing for melon map bag today sorry if everybody's sick of hearing me say it so of course you can die cut this as well the word um, so we'll do cocktails And then in black. Get that straight. Oh, I could have done ombre, yes. If I hadn't stamped it before I saw your um, message, Louise. So the idea is this is going to go on here. This is going to act a little bit. So you could, if you wanted to, um, stamp on white marker. Stamp on white marker. Could just fill this in a little bit more with a bit more black so it looks more like a silhouette got really inky fingers so I'm trying not to as I've already done got smudge on here but don't worry we can cover that so what I need to do is decide where I'm I'm just going to open this out so it's not so spring like decide so that's gonna go like that so it's a little bit like a Polaroid so if that's going to go there, okay, so I'm going to stick, if I could unstick my glue, I really should just give up on this glue and get a new one out, but waste not, want not. And the good thing is, you know that this is going to fit because it was die cut from the middle. So if that's going to go there. And this is going to go up on the foam pad dimensionals. I'm not going to use the minis from there. So 
enough in the middle so we don't get so it doesn't sag and And we'll do another minis because we don't want it to go saggy Okay, get dimensionals out of the way. Let's clear some space. Okay. Just gonna stand up for this bit. So it gives you a little bit of a shadow. And then we will stick the cocktails down. And I'm going to do, I'll do that bit. And then obviously, uh, Mabel, can I have my sequins? Thank you. Sorry, cat's got a paw on it while she's fast asleep. Such a hard life. Okay, so we'll do a bit of a mixture. So these have already got the glue dots on the back. Don't get up, Maves, don't get up. There we are. <laughs> We're not panicking, honest. Oh, good girl. She's curled up and gone back to sleep, sorry. You never know with these two. I don't like the big ones actually. There. So let me just make some space. Lost it, there it is. Put my lid back on my glue, although I think it feels pretty empty. Let me just score that even more. There we go. Stops it from coming back up again. So, fresh new sheet so you can see. So this is the third one, the one that I've just made. The first one was this one. And the second one was that one. Of course, you know, I have neglected to add a bit of Wink of Stella to it. So, 
it's easy for your benefit this is um like an alcohol ink but it's got i don't know if you can see that uh there no you probably can't it's got glitter like a shimmery glitter um which i have failed to add to my flowers just to give it a little bit of extra pizzazz yeah it is beautiful and now it's like when you hold it up to the camera you can really see that glitter it's really beautiful so and it's just nice it just adds a little extra just a little extra so there you go there's the three um so a bit of blending um and yeah hope you like them do tell me which one's your favourite. I think cocktails is probably my favourite, mainly because cocktails. I honestly can't remember the last time I had a cocktail, actually. But yeah, so there's the three. So that is mainly using, um, yeah, cocktail, definitely. So mainly using this stamp set here, which is Timeless Tropical, um, which... As I was saying at the beginning, um, I have neglected to think about buying and it arrived this morning. So this is my first little play with it. Um, and I definitely think I will be doing some more. I'd really like to have a go at building a beachy scene and yeah, with a nice deck chair. <laughs> it is very me. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say, Susie. Um, so, so yeah, so we've used uh, Timeless Tropical on all three of them. So done the hibiscus, which I just absolutely love. And it does remind me of my holiday many, many moons ago in Hawaii. Um, one place that I'd absolutely adore to go back. Um, and then obviously we've used a bit of the Nothing's Better Than for the cocktails. And the inside of two of these cards, um, as you can see there, has come from the Happiest of Birthdays, which is a great stamp set. So, you know, you've got your more masculine... Um, yeah, enough said, it's easy. Um, um, it's, that's great for sort of more masculine and obviously if you missed a birthday. And then that is quite good for a focal point if you want to do something quite simple and easy. Um, and then obviously it's your day enjoy it you can do that on the front or you could do it equally on the um, inside it all of it is perfect so yes I definitely think that sort of Polaroid type effect on that one is definitely one of my favorite right let's turn you around so when you get to see my shiny red face and the lovely Bella has been well behaved this week not so much last week and you've got Mabel here having a good old wash I'm surprised you can't hear her you might be able to to be fair oh god I'm really pink I'm warm now I've shut the window so um I'm requesting the coffee stamps in two weeks time when I can watch the whole thing fair enough I'll think of something, I'm sure. Thank you, Louise. Thank you uh, for joining. I, I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you like them. Yes, the coffee ones are, well, yeah. I mean, the whole stamp set is brilliant. I um, It's great. And I think because some of the sentiments in it as well, you know, today's plan, consume coffee. Um, today's plan, consume cookies. And then you've got a day without. So you could do a day without coffee and then you've got is like um just kidding i have no idea perfect 
Um, today is a coffee kind of day. Today is a cocktails kind of day. You could do, you're just like cocktails, you make everything better. Sounds good to me. So yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, and you can do, um, today is a cocktails kind of a day. And then on the inside, it also gives you the um, extra bit of, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow will be too. Um, <laughs> yeah, no day, no day without coffee. No day without, well, I mean, I'm mostly a tea drinker, but I do like my coffee um, occasionally. Thank you, Louise. Yes, this weekend I will be at an overnight weekend, well, overnight weekend retreat, uh, starting Friday and I'm back on Sunday. Um, so yeah watch this space i've no idea what next monday will bring um in terms of doing a live uh but then again i didn't have a plan for tonight either so um i'm sure i can come up with something when i finish work on monday um so yes i've got my you know two and a bit days of crafting with some fellow crafters um very much looking forward to it and also treating myself to a nice massage and getting away um, yes, I'll show you all my makes, um, hopefully, fingers crossed. I only know of one suite that we'll be using, which will be the one on Sunday, which will be the one, the peaches, sweet as a peach set. Um, as for everything else, no idea, it's all a bit of a surprise. So we'll see. Um, and the Friday night, uh, so we've got dinner Friday night, and then a little bit of a mini crafting session. So, but it's all a surprise. So, um, don't know what the pillow gifts are going to be, or or the table gifts. So, yes, I'm very excited. Nice to actually craft in person um, with people that I haven't seen for months, actually. Um, so one person I haven't seen since February last year. So yes, it will be um, it will be great fun, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, so yeah. So anyway, thank you. I'm rambling now, so I'll shut up. Um, to be fair, I've paid for him, Louise. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's all part of the fun, and yeah, we do get very well treated, and uh, we are very lucky. Um, and I'm just grateful that the changes to the um, extension of the coming out of lockdown um, hasn't affected us, which is good. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Um, I'm very much looking forward to next weekend. Thank you very much for your company and um, glad you liked my cards. And um, I'll see you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.